From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gare McKenzie. This local and regional news update is brought to you by Northway Bank. Get big savings close to home with Northway Bank's Community Sense Digital Coupon Book. Filled with valuable money-saving coupons from hundreds of Northway Bank business customers. Visit NorthwayBank.com for more info. Northway Bank with 17 locations throughout New Hampshire. The people you know, the bank you trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. A special nine-member commission charged with recommending to lawmakers whether they should authorize New Hampshire to expand Medicaid to an estimated 49,000 poor adults continues its information gathering tomorrow. The commission faces a deadline of October 15th to issue a report with its recommendations. Most expect the report to contain recommendations by a majority of the panel as well as a dissent from the minority. The group met with the consultant at its last meeting to lay out a timeline of meetings to discuss drafts of the report before it's made final. The commission could hear tomorrow from Avic Roy, who wrote an article recently published in Forbes arguing hospitals would lose money if the state expands the program. Organizers have fallen short in an attempt to set a world record on a New Hampshire lake for the most kayaks and canoes in a single body of water. Participants are hoping to set the record during an event called Hands Across the Water at Saturday's New Hampshire Lake Fest on the shores of Lake Winnipesaukee in Laconia. Organizers said the current record for the largest raft of canoes and kayaks is believed to be 2,099 in Michigan, August 31st. The New Hampshire Lakes Association says although more than 300 boats took part Saturday, the effort fell far short of the record. In May news, residents concerned about proposed changes to Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield Insurance will have a chance to speak this week. The Bureau of Insurance holds a hearing today in Augusta on the individual proposal that would transfer individual policyholders into a network with Maine Health providers. Anthem's partnership with Maine Health would exclude six Maine hospitals, including Lewiston Central Maine Medical Center and Bridgeton Hospital. That means some individual policyholders would no longer be able to see doctors there, and opponents say it would force them to drive further for care. The Bureau has held several public hearings throughout the state on the proposal, drawing hundreds of people to voice their concerns. In Sports in a Game broadcast live right here at 93.5 WMWV, the Kennett High School Football Eagles got their season off to a good start Friday night, beating the Hollis Brookline Cavaliers 16-14 at Gary Millen Memorial Stadium in Conway. In results from the 38th annual Mud Bowl action this weekend at the Hog Coliseum in North Conway, a three-peat was not to be for the Nashua Gumbies, who were shut out 14-0 yesterday by the North Country Mud Crocs. Pittsburgh Pirate All-Star pitcher Jeff Locke had another tough outing Saturday night in St. Louis against the Cardinals as his bucks were blank 5-0, and he took the loss. Steven Goskowski hit a 35-yard field goal with five seconds left to send the New England Patriots to a season-opening 23-20 win over the Buffalo Bills yesterday in New York. And the Yankees overcame Mariano Rivera's blown save for a 4-3 win over the Boston Red Sox yesterday that prevented a four-game weekend sweep by the Sox. In the weather today, mostly sunny, highs of the lower 70s. Partly cloudy tonight, lows around 50. Lower 50s in southern Carroll County with light winds. And cloudy Tuesday with a chance of showers, highs in the upper 70s. From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gare McKenzie.